Hi, I'm Soliart and I'm back. Today I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial about how to create parallax scrolling for your portfolio in Adobe Muse. So I'm just going to show you the preview. This is a very normal setup. So imagine you have a portfolio like this and you just I'm just scrolling. You see this? I'm just going to scrolling down. See what happened? It's just like the photos are changing and but I'm still I'm scrolling down see so I have some cool motion effects for my text and for my portfolio so it just gives it some you know it's not boring anymore and people enjoying the effects and they can read my portfolio and also it shows that I'm capable of doing this kind of animation in my website so it's kind of a different look to it. So I'm just going to show you quickly how you can create such a thing in less than four minutes or something. All right, let's go back to our design and let's go back to our master page. So from here I'm just going to create an empty page. I'm just going to call it parallax scrolling YouTube. Okay, I'm just gonna clicking. So the first thing I'm, I'm just gonna go with Control minus. I'm just or Command minus. I'm going back. I'm zooming out. So the first thing I'm just going to do is I'm just gonna create a box. This box is for adding from my, my images inside. So I'm just gonna add four images. I'm just gonna go to Fill and Add Image. This is my first image. The next thing I have to do is the fitting. I have to put it on title vertically and the position is center. So make sure you're doing the same. Then the color, I'm just gonna make it black. So this is the first one. Then I'm just gonna go to my cut tool and again, I'm just gonna drag this up they will be perfectly fit right that's cool then I'm just gonna go to my scroll effect motion put this on so I'm saying when you're coming you have to go up with zero I mean the up is zero I'm not gonna move it but the final motion when I'm scrolling down I'm just gonna put it on one now I'm just gonna copy this and paste in place. Holding down my shift, and just drag this down. I'm just copy it. Then I will change the image. One. I'm just gonna scroll this down a little bit more so I have space for the two other photos and also the text. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna go like that. Can copy, paste in place, holding down shift and just dragging down, fit one more time, down a little bit. Copy, paste in place, drag this down. I'm cool here. Now I'm just going to change my images. Just select your box, go to fill, add same image, and select your next. Image. Okay, select my this image. All right, it's already fit. That's perfect. I'll, I'll show you what's going to happen. We have to fix the key position as well. But right now, let's just change the images. This is the second image. Oh, by the way, these are my photographs and what I do as graphic designer and photographer. Well, this is how I create my portfolio. So. And the other one, this is kind of a post-production one. And now, I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to preview this. 
and you will see that it's not perfect right now. So if we preview this, and you see it's kind of messy. Let's see if I scroll down, see what happened. See that? This photo is in front, and the photos are behind it, it's just going up and down. So what's going on? So I'm just going to fix this. The problem is the layer. So right now, if we go to our layer panel, and if I go open this header, and you will see this one is at top, which it shouldn't be. You see that this one is at the bottom, which it shouldn't be. I'm just going to drag this up. So this photo should be on top, the first one. Okay. Now it's on top. The second photo should be the second. Okay. I'm just going to drag this and put it in the other pin, then it's just going to change. Second one. What about the third one? This is the third image. It should be here. This one. here so now let's see what we have so okay I think it's cool so this one is the first then this one you see this little icon is changing the green one this is the third and it's the fourth one all right the layering the top layer should be the first one and then we're going down we just put the next one the level the next one is lower then this one is lower so it's the, you have to just follow these steps and right now if we preview it still we have another problem that we have to fix it i'm just going to preview this if you see we solve that problem i mean right now they are working but the problem is i still see this area is kind of a, it's like i can see that the behind the scene photos i don't want to be like this so what's the problem problem is the key position you see this key position this is telling me when you scroll down when you see and when you come to this level of your page show me the next photo I don't want that I'm just gonna drag this and I'm just gonna put it on this key frame the level when you finish totally this image the next one is just gonna scroll up I'm just gonna go, go down and do it for each one of the box and this one I'm just gonna drag this key position make it level one more time I have this just gonna make it level the other things I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna select the background and make it black let's preview this now you see it's perfect and clear when I'm scrolling down slowly see what's happening Very nice and very smooth. The other things that they have to remove is the stroke of these boxes. So let's go back here. So each box has a stroke. I'm just gonna put it as zero. It's just gonna be removed. This box, put it as zero. This box, zero. And this box, zero to preview it. Right now it's very nice very smooth I'm scrolling down all right the next thing that we are going to do is add some texts for the portfolio which I'm just adding here I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit so I have space for my text okay cool so here I'm just gonna go up a little bit I'm just going to say folio. I'm just going to drag a box. I'm just going to type in folio. Can't see it because the color is black. I'm just going to text, make this color orange, or this orange. Then I'm just going to shift, command, the grader, or I'm just going to go to this one and make it 30 or something.
This one should be 30. Folio. Just gonna make it bigger, I'm just gonna make it 80 or something. Then I'm just gonna give it some space. I'm gonna make it horizontally, so I'm just gonna drag this. I'm just gonna put it in the center. Alright. The next thing that I'm going to do is adding some text. So it doesn't matter what is that, so it can be anything. I'm going to my library, I have some text generator. I'm just gonna add it here. Okay. Text generator here. The other one, I'm just gonna put it here. Okay. I don't need the library anymore. The next thing that I'm just going to say, I'm just going to go to the same scroll effect. I'm just going to add motion for it. I'm just going to say, you come just from left to right with the three of a second speed. And the final motion is the same one for vertical speed. I'm just going to do the same for actually this one can be all right cool and this one are the same I'm just gonna motion three times come from right to left so I'm just gonna put left and this one also I'm just gonna say you come from up to down to down this is zero, this is one, or this is, can be three with the same speed. See, this is with this three, this with this three, so they have the same speed. Let's check this out. I'm just going to preview this. I have my portfolio photos that people are just scrolling down and they see this effect. Very cool, when I'm scrolling down, so see, the portfolio is coming, still I'm scrolling down, the portfolio is just going up. And, one more time, see, I'm doing nothing, I'm just scrolling, I mean, scrolling up and down, and see this, all these words and this text are just animating and give me some amazing look and feel that I want to read, and it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling. At least I have a good feeling about it. And that's it. That was creating very cool Parnix effect in Adobe Muse. And thanks for watching.